Building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the what? In the Holy Ghost. Now, the process of building yourself in your most holy faith is a way of exercising yourself spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? Thank God for the contributions we have gotten. But scripture says, I say then, walk in the spirit. The word walk there means exercise yourself spiritually. Bodily exercise does not have zero profit. Though. Are you there? It's profit. It has profit. It's only that uh, it profits what? Little. Are you getting it? Meaning that it will, it, will, it will mean that if we have a bodily exercise, it means we also have what? A spiritual what? Now, that spiritual exercise is what is called walking where? In the spirit. Now, what does it mean to walk in the spirit? The word walking there means obedience. So, as we obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, obedience is converted into movement. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? If you have the Holy Spirit, it's not a good news. That's not all. Are you obedient? You can have the Holy Spirit and still be stagnant. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, obedience is walking. So, as you begin to obey the voice of the Spirit of God speaking to you, that obedience will be converted into movement. So, you will now be walking in the reality of this verse. Huh? Walk in what? The Spirit. Take for instance, somebody is, a lady is, maybe you are a brother, a lady is asking you to do something simple with her. And she even gave you where you are going to go and do it that nobody will see you. But the Holy Spirit is saying what? No. He's saying what? No. And you heard the no. So your obedience to that no is a proof that you are moving. Are you there? And that movement is what this scripture calls work. So if you walk in the spirit, meaning if you choose to obey the voice of the spirit of God speaking to you, there's no way you will fulfill the lust of the flesh. I get what I'm saying. How many of us have been faced with similar instances? Somebody asked you to do something that is sinful, but the Holy Spirit said no, and you yielded to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Has it happened to us before? The reason you were able to, it means that that day when you said no to that sinful offer, you have not fulfilled what? Huh? You have not fulfilled the work of what? Please, let's check. Is the, is the work, is it plural? Okay, lost, right? Fulfill the word, the lost. I guess what I'm saying now. If you walk in the what? In the spirit. And I told you how to walk through obedience, you will not what fulfill. Now take for instance, there are there are types of work. There is seasonal work. There is continuous work. Are you there? There is what we call seasonal work. There is what we call continuous work. And there is another one called... Um, uh, I don't know which... I don't know how to group it now. But there are types of work. You can do continuous work. You can do seasonal work. Are you there? Anytime you obey the voice of the Spirit of God speaking to you, you are moving. That's work. But your work may not be continuous if you are not, if you don't continue in obedience. Are you getting it? So there are some people that are moving, but their movement, their work is not continuous because their obedience is not continuous. It will mean that the nature of your obedience is what defines the type of spiritual work that you are engaging in. So if you are a type that you will obey the voice of the Spirit of God today, tomorrow you will not obey. Obey next tomorrow, the next day you will not obey. You are working on. Hmm? But I can assure you that your work is not what? Continuous. 
So, and if your work is not continuous, it will mean that you will not continually overcome the lust of the flesh. Are you there? Because those spirit. Now, this is the point. Anytime you are not moving in the spirit, you are fulfilling the works, the lust of the flesh. Are you there? Anytime you are not moving spiritually, anytime you are not working spiritually, you are fulfilling what? The lust of the flesh. Because the proof that you are fulfilling the lust of the flesh is that there is no movement. There is no traceable, tangible movement. There is no noticeable movement in your life. So I know you last year. I checked you again this year. You are still the same thing. There is no... It's a proof that what? Eh? It's a proof that what? It's a proof that you are not what? Moving. And and if you are not moving, it means that your your obedience to the spirit is not what? Continuous. And that's why your movement is not continuous. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you can have people doing seasonal. Now check your life. Now what kind of movement is your life making? What kind of work are you engaging in spiritually? Check your life. Is this seasonal work or continuous work? Huh? You see, everybody will go through process. Are you there? Everybody will go through what? Process. But I can assure you that certain people on the strength of their disobedience to the voice of the Spirit of God, they prolong the day of they, pro, they prolong their process days. Are you there? They are supposed to God is supposed to, you know, that school is supposed to last for, for 30 years. But because they are not obedient, they, end up, they ended up spending, what, 10 years in the school of process. And they'll say, well, I'm passing through process. Of course we know. But if we check well, are you there? Are you getting what I'm saying? The Lord will help us. And that I want us to notice, it says, so that you will not fulfill the loss of what? Praise the Lord. When people pray that you will be fulfilled, he says, Amen. No, but you need to be careful. Because when we say a fulfilled man is <laughs> into two categories. We have a man that is fulfilled in the flesh, and we have a man that is fulfilled in the spirit. So if you call yourself, I'm a fulfilled person, fine. In what aspect are you fulfilled? Because a man that is Disobeying God is obeying the devil. Yeah? A man that is disobeying God is what? Obeying the devil. And the one that is obeying the devil will be fulfilling the lust of the flesh. So, is a fulfilled man in the flesh. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. So, Thank God you are a fulfilled person. So, um, in what area are you fulfilled? Are you a fulfilled, are you someone that is fulfilled in the flesh? Or someone that is fulfilled in the spirit? Are you there? If you have paid attention, I believe you are blessed already. So check your life. Don't just crave for fulfillment desire to be fulfilled in the spirit and check your work check your work check your work how to check your work in the spirit is to check your obedience how to check your work in the spirit is to check your obedience to the spirit I get answer mm. hey yeah, 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 yeah. how to check your work in the spirit is to check your what your obedience to the spirit. If you are not obedient to the spirit, ah, <laughs> ah, your walk in the spirit. You want to walk in the spirit, and you are no obedience to the spirit. How is it possible? Don't you know it's your obedience that is converted into walking? You see, there are spiritual terms, spiritual vocabularies. What work means physically is not what it means spiritually. Are you there? Work physically means to move from one place to another. Work in the spirit means obedience. 
Is it the same thing? Huh? So, in the physical, you say, as I was walking to the place, but in the spiritual, they say, as I was obeying, you don't move, you don't, you don't walk. You, don't, you will not walk to your future. In the physical, you can walk to where you are going, but in the spirit, you don't walk to your future. You obey to your future. Eh? Ah, this thing is heavy. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're, that's not what I'm saying. I'm kind. You are. Ah! <laughs> You don't get it. <laughs> if you get what I just said now, eh? It's heavy. Ah, do you get what I said? I know you don't get it. You did not get it. After this fellowship now, would you go home? How will you go home? You will walk home, right? You trek home, right? Let's assume that, you know, everybody here, we have a future, right? We have bright futures in Christ. Good. If you have a destination, physically, you walk to the destination. Are you there? I say, I'm walking, you're trekking, you're moving to the place, right? But in the spirit, that your future that you have seen, eh? You what? How do you get there? You obey into it. So, are you there? That means everything, that, those things, they're not the same to you. And you are obeying. As you are obeying those things, the Lord is saying to you, obeying on daily basis, you are moving to the bright future. Hmm? Hmm. It's not the number of people that you know. It's the record of obedience that you have. Eh? It's not the number of people that you know. It's the record of obedience that you have. So, we obey into our future. We obey to our destination. We obey to our promised land. The Israelites were walking physically, but yet they did not enter the promised land. Why? There's no obedience. Are you there? Joshua entered because he was obedient. So you don't walk to, you obey to. That spiritual definition of fulfillment. Okay, wait. Let me help somebody. How many of you have seen the letters reveal something to you about your future? You have seen some things. Okay. Brother Paul. Yes, any other person? Two. Only two people. Okay. That great thing that God showed you about your future. If you check your current status now, does it look like it? Does it look like that in you saw? It's gradual. Okay. Does it look like it? Huh? Okay. Me, what I've seen, eh? I've not entered. Me, I'm not. Now, that, those things that God has shown you about yourself, about your future in Him, how you will enter into it is obedience. So you will obey into your future. Ah! Oh. You what? You will obey into the future. So after fellowship, now God can say, Tell me, starting from today, don't sleep until 12. I want you to be praying from 12 to 1. And as you set your alarm and you begin to wake by 12 to pray, 12 to 1, you are moving. Hmm? You are what? You are moving. After a year, he will say, Oh, Tenny, stop eating in the morning. Eat around 12. Be eating around 12. Do that for one year. You do it. You are moving. Then you give that money to this person. You do it. You are moving. Then you preach to that person. If you do it, you are moving. Gradually, you discover, you find yourself in the future you saw. That's how to be fulfilled in the spirit. You don't walk into the future you have seen, you obey into it. The Israelites were walking physically, but they did not enter. That's why the Bible says, by strength shall no, no man what prevail. How do you enter into the future you are seeing in God? Find what God is saying and stick to it. It may be hard though. You know, if there is no instruction, there is nothing to obey. 
Obedience is resting on instructions. So the first thing is not, I want to obey. No, find an instruction. Find what God is saying to you. And when you find it, stick to it. That's obedience. And as you begin to obey, you begin to what? Move into the future. Can we just begin to pray? Can we begin to pray? Because we need to round off early today because of our plan. Shanekoti varasi kembra ante kusi kavalabashka. Lerusun de varaskuti valadabashka. Eti kete kepe nete kete kete. Thank you for your word, oh God, oh God. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Shineku Kabalada Mosque. Oh, thank you for your word. Thank you for your instructions. Thank you for how well and how far you have taught us. Thank you for your word, for your word, for your mouth. Kene mo swa kama na kya kene mo ne koi koi kai koi agana mat. Thank you, thank you for your word. Thank you for your remo. Thank you for your instructions that is coming. Anana mo shanama. Thank you for your word. <laughs> thank you for your instructions. Thank you for your word. For your word that is coming to us. Bela kuma na koshe na na mene kiata la mana ya. Ede de de bela de. Oh, help me to obey into my future. Can you can you make that a prayer? Can you make that a prayer? Lord, I know it's not just by walking. No, no. By strength shall no man prevail. Help me to obey into the future that I have seen. Oh, ya la mane koma na e. I want to obey to the future. Ai, 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 ai. Obeying is working. Ay, ko la kubele deva. E te te ke te 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 ke te. La ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te leta. E ko 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 to ko ko to loto. Hey, Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, not one. There is not a friend like the Lord, believe Jesus. No, 